Good morning, Skadoosh Noodles. It is time for a top five video. But this one's a little different because I have a lot of experience in this stuff. Today we're gonna go over videos that capture ghosts in abandoned places. Been doing this for years. I'm a veteran at this. And today I'm gonna decide, is it real or is it fake? And speaking of looking at abandoned places, Colby might be going one on the day this video is posted. So as you know, Colby and I have been doing this for many years, going to abandoned places, checking out ghosts, being uh, explorers, if you will. And we've caught quite a lot, but today we're not going to be talking about the things we've done because you guys have already seen them, right? Somebody's coming, somebody's coming, somebody's coming. Dude, 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 he's turning around. Down, down, down. Go, 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 go. Wait, do you hear that? Go, 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 go. But today, we're not going to go over our videos. We are going to be seeing the rest of everyone else's videos. The not as good ghost adventure abandoned place videos, if you ask me. But I, you didn't hear it from me. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Starting at number five, this urban exploration channel called This Is Dan Bell, who is actually pretty freaking cool. He's going in and exploring an abandoned children's asylum. So this guy apparently is known as just an urbexer. He's not a ghost hunter, so he doesn't actually go out looking for places that are haunted. I don't know why you're gonna go into an abandoned children's asylum. Sounds pretty creepy. But I think the coolest part about this whole video is he definitely wasn't looking for ghosts and he wasn't calling out for them. They literally just appeared. So that's why I think it's super cool. So check this out. Like, what the fuck happened? Battery exploded. So watch that back. Literally, as he's zooming into this, like, light fixture at the top, in his hand, he's holding a battery, and it explodes in his hand. You know, like a fat camera battery? Like, we've been using the same camera batteries for probably four years. That does not happen often. Like, camera batteries just don't do that. And you can legitimately hear him freaking out, and you can hear the battery explode in his hand, which I think is insane. I don't know if you guys pay attention to our videos, but one of the biggest signs of ghosts is interrupting with electrical frequencies. You know, they, they're taking energy from something. Okay, so he's turning this corner and he's just looking around. He's, you know, filming what's going on. And then boom, you see someone else walking in there. Oh my God. Like guys, this is not like, you know, one little shadow or like when he's turning the camera, you know, the sunlight moves on, on like the one little arm. Like obviously he's, even when he's still, this shadow is moving in and out like a human being. Now, now again, let me remind you, this guy isn't here for ghosts. He doesn't do ghost videos. So like, this is really, really creepy to me. And then it even gets creepier. Like dude, he's catching so much. Look at this. So you can see, right as he passes, right as he passes, there's like an eye or like some like like blacked out figure like whoo, like looking through. You can't see the person's face at all, but it's just like this like figure moving through this eye hole. Like why is there even an eye hole? Like who took the doorknob? That's what I'm questioning. So other than the battery exploding on his hand, he didn't realize he captured these things until later on after the video, which is the creepy part. But after reviewing the footage, this guy, since he's been doing it for so long, actually thinks that it was a former patient, one of the people in this children's asylum, that came back and is now returned to the asylum. Whether or not that be a ghost or a homeless person, I don't know, it's kind of up for interpretaciones. I think that's the word for it. Number four. This one comes from a YouTuber named Dima Maslenenko. He's a Russian guy, so that's why I suck at saying his last name. So this guy, he's just strolling through the neighborhood, he sees a house. So apparently this house has been carrying a bunch of ghost or spiritual paranormal-ish in it since the day the girl moved in. Here's what she has to say. When we moved in, we had a new neighbor, an elderly man who lived next door who was not happy that we moved in. Why? One day he showed up in front of our house and screamed, I curse you. Not long after that, I found out that he had died the next day. And after that, things in the house became strange. Dude, what the fuck? Okay, man, like, I would call, like, I don't know, civil services or something like that. If some random dude walked up to my door on the first day that I moved in, and it's like, I 
curse you, bitch. I'd be like, get this fucking dude out of my house. But anyway, why would you stay after that? Like, that's so strange. I would feel like that's kind of like a bad omen. Like, yo, maybe let's not, you know, be here anymore. So Dima ends up going in and he films this whole video and posts it up and he genuinely doesn't think anything happened. He was just like, you know, it was a creepy house. It was a cool, interesting story, but whatever, here's the video. Now he said three weeks later, the people and the viewers pointed out that behind him, there was actually something following him. I don't know about you, but I think that's almost scarier when you don't know something's there and then you realize something was behind you. I think that would freak me out even more. But let's watch this guy. So apparently when he was wrapping up, he was going down the stairs and the camera, because he had one pointed forward and one pointed back to see like, you know, all, all areas. I think that's actually a smart idea. Why didn't we ever do that? So the camera that's pointing behind him actually does capture something lurking behind him. God, dude! I don't know about you, but that is definitely a fucking person. Like, look, there's like a zoomed up image that's like brightness is all the way up so you can see. It literally looks like this guy is like wearing some sort of sweater vest with like one of those white collars, almost like a priest looking thing. But it has zero facial features whatsoever. It just looks like a blob in hair and like, it looks kind of like a preacher to me. I think that's really creepy. Could it be the old man's curse? I don't know. Either way, let me know in the comments if you guys think this is just his crew member or if you think this is legitimately a ghost behind him. And number three on the list is called Devil's Tramping Ground. I don't know who he's being a tramp for. I don't know. I feel like a better name for it could have been camping because it's like a campsite, but I don't know. It's so good. This video comes to you by a YouTuber named Kevin the Custodian Ghost Hunter. We love Kevins in our lives. We got a lot of Kevin Jonas's and other Kevins being custodians. Anyway, so this guy's been hunting ghosts for about 16 years now. And what's kind of sad is that he has never once caught a ghost on camera after 16 years. Until this day. So a little backstory on this devil's tramping ground. Basically, it's just this little plot of land out in the middle of a park, but absolutely nothing can grow there, even though that the entire park has trees, dirt, grass, whatever. For years on years on years, nothing has ever been able to grow in this tiny little section, no matter how hard they've tried. So they think it's cursed. So people have been going inside this giant forest and camping on this tramping ground, and anyone who camps inside the circle where nothing grows ends up usually hearing weird things or seeing things in the middle of the night but again for some reason there's not that much footage of it until this guy and something else that's really cool about this forest is there has been researchers that have been called in to understand why this whole ground does not grow any vegetation especially since the entire surrounding area does and they don't know why either I had to get out here in a hurry. look at that what what the fuck? what the fuck is that dude look at that dude there is like a I don't know Blue man going Wait, that's Spider-Man. The ghosts are getting to me. Like, look, what is that guy doing in the background? Like, if you zoom in on it, like, look at this. That doesn't look like anything else in the area. And then when you puts the camera back up, there's nothing there. Like that genuinely looks like something that's like wal waltzing down the street. Like, what's up guys? It's all good. And there's no head and there's no anything. It literally looks like one of those freaking ghosts with a sheet that are like, what well, chow, let's go in the movies, you know? And here's the crazy part. You might be like, oh guys, guys, come on. This is a CGI-ish, you know, people fake videos all the time. And I thought that too right at the beginning, but I went in, did a little more research, and apparently our boy Kevin lets people look at the actual footage, the raw footage, the uncut clip that's before the YouTube video. So he says like, hey look, it's an unaltered raw file. So whatever is on this clip was actually there behind them, only for that split five seconds and then it was gone. So that's why I'm like, maybe Custodian Ghost Hunter isn't faking videos. 16 years of not catching anything and he decides to you know, throw some CGI on this one? I don't think so, you know? Like, if he's letting other people check back the footage, then I'm gonna give it to him. Our boy Kev. I love it. All right, numero dos. 
on the list comes from a channel called Exploring with Mikali, I think. Mikhail? Mikhail? Mika? Sorry, you got an awesome name. I just suck. Blame it on me. Anyway, so this girl and her friends go into a South Carolina mental asylum. Actually, one of the oldest mental asylums in the United States. They're walking around having a good time, just the same as Colby would. But walking around on the third floor, they hear a noise coming from an old bathroom. So the girl ends up staying back while her two friends continue on. Watch this first, but trust me, don't don't click off yet. I know what you're gonna think, but just watch first. This is amazing. Oh, look at that. Like what the fuck, man? The freaking window shutters like are going up and down. I thought a couple different things to debunk this. First off, it could be wind. A lot of abandoned windows are broken, so, you know, science and stuff makes wind happen. You know, actually, that's a good thing. We should make a video on how wind works. Like, where's the original wind? I originally thought that, but then it was such a calculated move where it was like up and down, then up and down, up and down things. And I'm like, the mm, wind doesn't really do that. I feel like that's very complex. And I thought it was really weird that after something like that big of a moment would happen that the video just cuts. Like, wouldn't you talk about it or wouldn't you like I don't know tell your friends that this is happening or kind of make it a bigger deal but after looking into it she actually published the screen recording of her iPhone video so she took it on her phone and she said that her phone froze immediately after once again talking about technology being affected by the paranormal now in the screen recording you can see that immediately after the window shutters like go up and down up and down when she turns away her camera does freeze up but the video is still playing. Like this, this screen recording is of the raw footage. Video is still playing, but nothing is getting captured. So that's why she didn't include it in the video. And I think that's a pretty good cop out. But I'm also not 100% sure. The last debunk would be maybe it's a friend who's like outside the window, like doing it. But again, they're on the third floor. That'd have to be an extremely tall 60 foot ladder for someone to be chilling up there, going up and down, just for that small little clip. All right, gonna do a quick honor roll mention because it doesn't necessarily have to do with ghosts, but it's a horrifying abandoned experience by our good old friend, this is Dan Bell. What a boss. But before that, I realized the majority of the people that watch my videos are not even subscribed. What are you doing? It's free. If you want, just like, it takes a half a second, go and subscribe, turn on notifications, and you'll be part of the gang. Thank you very much. So Mr. Dan Bell is in this abandoned building in like a downtown urban place. Let's just say it's not all sunshine and daisies. And trust me, Colby and I have been there too where you go into like kind of like an urban setting of downtown stuff and there's just a lot of like violence or people there that you don't really want to get involved with. And it can be dangerous, especially if you're alone. And it seems like this guy is completely alone in this abandoned place and he immediately hears gun shots as soon as he walks in. Now here's where it gets pretty crazy. He gets all the way to the top of the building at the top of the staircase. He sees that a bag was recently placed down and it has a bunch of food in it. But look at this. So right here he sees this bag and he sees some like food and all that stuff and then he sees this weird glass container that obviously looks like some drugs. So if a recent container was placed down in a bad neighborhood that is drugs, who do you think is nearby? Probably whoever owns that drug. And this is when he's like, oh shoot, I fucked up and I need to get out of here. But just watch a little bit of this. It is traumatizing how much like this scares me of what I, what I used to do in a band of videos. Please, 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 please. That is so, oh my God, it gives me anxiety watching that video. Like, I don't know. He had to wait there for such a long time and he hears them like leave. So he's like, oh, I gotta get the fuck out of here right now. I don't know. Again, th this guy is a YouTuber and he was the one editing this. Maybe he did do something fake. I don't know, but it does seem like he's in a dire panic. This guy usually just goes in to explore urbex places. He doesn't really try to like stage random things or like make it seem insane. It's more just about the history. 
So that's why I really believe that this happened, especially when he heard gunshots at the very beginning and he was in a bad neighborhood. Who's to say what happens? And we have here number one, numero uno. Gotta get my shades on for this big boy. All right, so three guys go into this abandoned house and immediately they start seeing some graffiti that looks basically satanic and cult-like and anything devilish. Which, as you might have heard before from our channel, usually the more negative energy surrounds itself with a lot of negative graffiti. So when you have devilish demon culty stuff, you're probably gonna get those types of vibes there. And they did. <laughs> But before we get into this, I am extremely skeptical of this video being real. However, the reason why I'm not as skeptical is because of their reaction. So I'm either saying this legitimately happened to them and they're crazy, or two, they are one of the best actors in the game, get them a movie deal right this second. I genuinely think you should watch this clip because it gave me chills the first time I watched it. Guys, we need to oh go. my god. I oh no, is he actually? <laughs> So we've had some crazy smells in these abandoned places. We've done sewer drains, we've done like, we've been in morgues, like all that stuff. But I've never had a smell so bad that I legitimately puke. And you can hear him puke and it's definitely real. So that's why again, I think this is some credibility to it. Then watch what happens. See, he's so intense. Like, you can legit feel the pain and like fear in his voice. Dude, he's screaming bloody murder like someone's literally attacking him. So basically, horrible smells to the point of puking, hanging dolls, and then crazy noises. Then they hear something, they run out and scream, but while they're running out and screaming, they're in this dire fear to the point where they're screaming at each other. They hear broken glass. This guy is obviously saying, oh, get off of me, get off of me, as if there's something attached to him. And they leave their friend behind, basically. There's this guy named John who has who ends up staying in the building for a little bit longer than everybody else, screaming, attack, like getting attacked by this one person. And then, as you can see at the very end of the video, he's so shaken up, you can see the fear in his eyes, and he doesn't even want to talk about it. Now, now maybe this video exists, but I would have assumed that they would continue filming a couple days later and be like, yo, what actually happened, and like get a little more story behind it, but they just end the video there, so that's what, again, maybe it could be fake. I'm not saying this is 100% real, I'm just saying, if it is fake, good freaking job to these guys. They deserve an acting career. And speaking of acting, I'm gonna act like I don't care that you're not subscribed yet. Yeah, you. I'm just kidding. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you want me to do more videos like this, maybe we can do top five ghosts in uh, theme parks or in uh, Sam's backyard. Leave a like, that's the only way I know that you like these videos, or if you comment and let me know, either way works for me, and I'll see you guys next week with another video. A peace out. <laughs> oh, my little skadoosh nudes.